Hey! Fash, <laughs> it's still the 24th of March, 2019. And I hope I can explain this stuff to you guys, but this is just how it comes to me, right? I showed you this a little bit earlier. Because it represents the resurrection of Osiris. And now, that's a broad statement because it fulfills a whole bunch of things. Primarily, Revelation 9-11, okay? That is ultimately what comes of this, okay? The bottomless pit is opened. Now, what I saw yesterday with the whales was only one thing. There was another article from Sputnik again about how a NASA engineer is suggesting that Saturn's moon Titan could be an awesome place to live, okay? Now, I need you to keep these little... Uh, figures in mind, okay, these reptilians, because this is what was here on this earth before the flood. These were the entities that were running the show, okay? This is just the way it is, and history can't deny it. They, th these are just part of some artifacts that changed everything for the simple fact that they can't talk it away. Science can't just you know explain this away just like they can't explain away the pyramids and so on and so forth these are what walked the earth before the flood and afterward also and this is the spirit that drives the evil in the world today because most of the world goes along with it they serve it you need to have christ in you in order to see and defeat these evil entities because they're real uh these guys represent so many things it's like they're the ones that that obama says we will come back we will be stronger you remember that when he signed the one world freedom tower beam there well that's what this represents and so i i see this article and they're saying that Titan could be an awesome place. I mean, they've just gone so far down this road of insanity, but people still buy it. And Titans, all Titans are, are another name for the Nephilim, for the uh, mighty ones of old. That's all they are. They're the second generation of divine beings, like Helios, which is also Zeus or Apollo. These all are representatives of the actual deities themselves that walked this earth before the flood. Okay? Now, what I saw in this article and how it relates to these titans is crazy because this is what happened. I go to NASA to see if they're talking about titans anywhere. And I didn't see anything on their front page. Okay? All kinds of weirdness here you can talk about, as above, so below. They just love to throw this stuff constantly in your face, right? So I'm looking for Titan. There's Osiris again. And Benu, the resurrection. I mean, can you really just believe that? Come on. So I search in there a little bit, and the first thing I came up with was this thing about this Cassini that went to Saturn, which is the... Uh, you know, Titan is a moon of Saturn. And I see the hexagons here on Saturn that they crashed this Cassini into this, right? And don't forget the hexagons, the beehive, remember? That's what that represents. I mean, it's crazy, man. But anyway, you keep reading this, and they start to talk about Titan here. And I kid you not, when you look at this image, right? This is just insane to me. Titan. I pull in the image. I, I just grab the image. Anybody can do this. And sure enough, right there is the absolute spitting image of these guys. Right there. And I'm going to try and help you see them here a little bit better because it just blew me away to see this thing. Unbelievable. Is a literal reptile right there. There he is right there do you see him i hope so if you don't see him now you can grab the image if you like and look at it for yourself but there they are okay in in a nasa image of course of the moon titan
Okay, so that doesn't end there. I'm, I'm looking. I, I don't stop until I'm satisfied as to what it is I'm supposed to see. And I noticed that this Cassini, this billion dollar satellite thing that they sent out there to take these images of the beehive and of Titan here, the, the reptile, okay, that mission was crashed into Saturn at the end of its mission. And they did it in 2017. And I'm just led to go back there. They did it on September 15th, 2017. They crashed that thing into Saturn. Think about this. From then to, to today, 555 days. One year, six months, nine days. Now, that in and of itself could be a coincidence, right? It really could be. However, if we look at the 555 in their world, how they look at these things, I'll tell you exactly what it represents. You have Osiris right there. And what is the Washington Monument? That is the phallic symbol of Osiris. That's exactly what it is. And how tall is it? 555 feet. So, you know what I'm saying? That to me is just a confirmation that this is in fact what we're seeing. I mean, I don't know how else to put it, you guys. It's just like so in my face that I can't deny it. This is on the cusp of becoming reality. However they're doing it, whether they're doing it through good old CERN, which they have uh, the means to do these things, uh, or other means, I don't know. All I know is that you're in a spiritual war, and without Christ, you're going to lose it. So if you don't know him, ask him to show himself to you. He will show you. I don't know if there's anything else to show you on this. It's pretty crazy. Oh yeah, <laughs> usually I don't do this. I do it often enough, but not all the time. Cassini, okay? I took the word Cassini, who was a sorcerer back in the day, called himself an astronomer, but he was a sorcerer, all right? And I put Cassini into the Gematria. And look what you get in the six count. Four, four, four. Exact same as Lucifer. Four, four, four. Exactly the same as Jesus. Four, four, four. Spiritual war. All this is, is Lucifer mocking and making fun of you, me, and God. And it's not going to last much longer. So be in Christ always. And keep looking up. Redemption's near. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 